Hi YouTube, today I'll be showing you how you can make your own HP 95LX or HP 48 serial cable. The normal ones that HP provides are getting more and more expensive online. These you can find at cheapest for twenty to twenty five dollars but for just six dollars of parts and the use of a slot head screwdriver you can make your own cable. So I've made this from two parts. The first part is a breakout box with a DB9 female connector that has screw terminals for each pin. That's about $5.49 on eBay. And then the second part is a 2 millimeter 4 pin female JST, Japan solderless terminals connector you can see here. And the orientation I'm using from um, top to bottom is is the thick side up, and you can see the four pins um, here bleeding a little bit in the light. So the orientation with the thick side up relative to the schematic is like s such, and I can match the colors here with the corresponding signals from the 95LX and on your regular RS-232 DB9 port. White from the 95LX is TX, that's pin B, that's linked to uh, pin 2, yeah that's the right way, pin 2 on the DB9, so you have TX to RX making this a null modem cable. Red then is RX on the 95LX, that's TX on the DB9, and finally black furthest right is ground and that's linked to signal ground. The yellow for the shielding I leave unconnected and that would be shield ground. So that's the orientation of the different colors and which pins you connect to. I've already screwed in the right cables to the right pins inside of here. Let me open this up real quick and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so you can see yellow's free and then the three appropriate pins that have been screwed in, two, three, and five, white, red, and black. Okay, so it's, it's really easy to do. Just take a little slot head screwdriver, loosen in order to open the port to put your stripped wire in, and then tighten it back down to get the stripped wire back in. And with that, I'll go ahead and very carefully close this back up. See? Nice clicking action in there. I'll just double check something here. Yeah, I'm just going to rotate those wires there so they're nicely seated. And you can see this screw head terminal box also includes two um, screws for connecting this to another DB9 connector. Okay, and it's female. So now that you've seen that, I'll show this in action. Okay. I have a PC just out of view with a USB serial connector. And I'm going to take that and then link it to this uh, Serial is uh, 95LX serial cable that I've built. That unscrewed a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's the right orientation. That clicked. Okay, and now let's get that connected to the 95LX. Okay, so the the thick part is up. Let's get this rotated here. And I'll press it in. And unfortunately, I've just sealed this with duct tape, but uh, you have to use your thumbnail to press it in to the socket. So that, that isn't perfect, but it does the job. Okay, so now I have my serial connector in there. Let me grab my compact flash card and put in the device and start a little terminal session with Kermit. Okay, 
Okay, so I had already logged in in the past, but I'll set up a new Getty session. Boom, we have a connection. This is a 9600 baud serial terminal. Okay, don't pay attention to that. And beautiful. So for just $6, you can make your own serial cable for an HP 95LX or 48 graphing calculator. I hope that was simple to follow. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments section. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. With that, thanks for watching.